My name is uh, Cheryl Knapp Egger, and I am presenting to you the um, Shiner, uh, one of Norman Rockwell's paintings, because my sister up here in the corner, Leah Knapp Dusha, is, um, was the school secretary model for this particular painting. The girl in the painting is Mary Whalen Leonard. She was from Arlington, Vermont, and she was one of his favorite models. You've probably seen her on other posters, other post covers, and um, when he decided to do the Shiner, or when he started, yes, to do the Shiner, he came down to Cambridge, New York, and uh, wanted to get um, a real picture of a, a school office with uh, the bench, the door, and the desk. And he asked these two people to also be his models. One is Leah, my sister, and the other is Ernest Bodenstab, her principal. He kept Leah but he used a substitute for uh, Mr. Bodenstab. Once in a while, oh, and then we have a picture of Norman in the uh, office, and which he was trying to recreate. When Mary wasn't available, this is a model who used the substitute for her. And then we have another picture of Mary before she was the Shiner. He kept the uh, bench and the desk and the door from the office for the Shiner painting. And this is the door and it was actually transported from the Cambridge School to Arlington for him to paint. He also kept um, Don Tracty to replace Bodenstab as, as the principal. He was a neighbor. Leah wrote uh, Norman Rockwell a letter in 1976, and I'll read you the letter. I am enclosing a rather musty copy of my senior essay written while I was a student at Bellows Falls High School in Vermont. As I recall, I spent many an hour in the basement of the Rockingham Library perusing Saturday Evening Post for information about your life. I had been an admirer of yours since a child when I first met you at the Shushing Grange Hall. I later moved to Vermont and spent my high school, high school days there. In 1950, I married one of the Dusha boys, whose dad owned the florist shop in Cambridge, and soon became a secretary in the Cambridge Central School. Much to my surprise, you appeared at the office door at the school one day to borrow some furniture for a school scene you were painting for a post cover. And much more to my surprise, you asked my boss, the principal, and I to go to your studio in West Arlington to pose when I tell people I am the head in the corner of the May 23, 1953 post cover showing the little girl with the black eye, they are amazed. I then bring out the black and white photograph you gave me to prove it. My sister gave me a jigsaw puzzle of that cover, which my husband put together and glued on a board, decoupaged, and framed. This was quite a conversation piece in our home in Florida, and I am very proud to say I posed for Norman Rockwell. You were also acquainted with my husband's uncle and aunt, Clarence and Belle Decker, through the Grange. I hope you get a kick out of reading the enclosed essay written 28 years ago, and my very best wishes to you from a very ardent fan. Norman Rockwell did reply to Leah, actually within a week. <laughs> Dear Mrs. Dusha, thank you for your interesting letter. I enjoyed reminiscing with you about the Vermont days. Even more, I enjoyed your essay. This I am returning to you because I am sure you would like to keep it. I love living in Arlington and I remember your uncle and aunt, the Deckers, very well. 
Vermonters are such fine people. Your letter provided a pleasant interval and a busy day. Thank you again. Sincerely yours, Norman Rockwell. Norman Rockwell used um, the hair color of red in several of his post covers, but uh, and Leah's is red here in the picture, but um, Leah was blonde. <laughs> she was not a redhead. And that is the rest of the story about the Shiner.